This is Austin Scott, Beck's Field Agronomist for the Southern Territories. Just wanted to check in real quick and give you an update of what I'm seeing from the field. Uh, as I walk this field in Northwest Tennessee today, I'm, I'm seeing a few wilting and dying plants. Uh, and I've been getting calls on black cutworm. Uh, this is not the first field I've investigated for black cutworm, but it is a, a good opportunity for a video and a learning experience. So as you can see, the corn's about V5 through most of the field right here. Uh, this corn's been planted for, for over a month now, uh, starting to pick up some heat fast, uh, and we're starting to get some growth on it, but the cutworms are still uh, hitting this corn pretty hard, even at V5 corn. So here's a, a good example of a wilted plant that I found. I started digging uh, right around the base of the plant. Okay, real quick, it's about 9.30 here this morning. Uh, we're already at 80 degrees. Black cutworm does not like to be active during the middle of the day. It does not like the hot, uh, sunny days. Uh, it's more active early in the morning when it's cooler. And then during the day, it'll burrow down beside that corn plant uh, to shield itself from the, the heat. So I started digging right here beside this plant, and here we go. Here's your uh, cutworm, right there. We actually found that guy sitting there, um, and you can see the base of that corn plant. He's been drilling right around the crown of that plant. He's actually drilled so far into it, this corn plant will not live, okay? Uh, but as we look out across this field, We've still got plenty of stand, all right, that we have not reached any sort of economic threshold that would warrant a specific uh, insecticide application on this, this crop. So just a few key pointers uh, as we start to uh, see some, some damage. All right, black cutworm loves weedy fields. All right, remember it's a moth that comes in and lays eggs early in the year. Uh, and then the, the egg hatches and you, you have the larva, which is the cutworm itself. All right, so any fields that are late to be burned down, uh, they've gotten a lot of weed pressure in them. Those are havens for black cutworm. All right, uh, any cover crop fields where you've had a lot of biomass, another haven for a cutworm. This field actually had a lot of uh, chicken litter spread on it early in the year, had a lot of weed pressure, there's a lot of biomass on the ground, uh, and, and that's why the, the cutworms are here. But again, this field is nowhere near threshold, uh, but that's something to, to keep in mind as you start walking these fields and seeing these dead plants right here. Black cutworms are very easy to control. Uh, just a generic pyrethroid will typically uh, take care of your, your cutworm damage. So. That's what I'm seeing from the field. Uh, again, if you're getting these text messages via a, a dealer forwarding them to you, and you'd like to receive them directly from Bex, you can text my name, which is Scott, S-C-O-T-T, -T, to the number 733337. Uh, and that will sign you up to get these updates automatically from me uh, from the field. So this is, again, this is Austin Scott. Uh, thank you and, and have a good plant season.